Is there any transfer items? I don't know who I am or where I came from. I only know that I have been wandering, searching for something. Just town. Can this place be what I've been looking for? Wow, this place is nice. And these flowers are so beautiful. Oh, hello. Um, hello? Hey, I haven't seen you here before. Are you just passing through? Passing through? Um, I think so. Sure, that's the way you put it. How oh, beautiful! Oh, you don't think so? Thank you. The tree, I mean, it's really pretty. Yes, it is. It's called Cherry Tree. It bloomed with pink blossoms this time of year. That's one uh I'm, I can't really read it from here. The, the real the reason I love come here. Yeah, I think I could use this place. Really? That's great. <coughs> Watch out, it's an earthquake. Mary, what are you talking about? It cost me to stay my little girl forever. Yeah, when I was six, why are you even talking about this? Don't try to hide it. I overheard the two of you talk about love and feelings and that sort of stuff. We're talking about how much we love the flowers. Oh, you were? That's a reef. Don't scare me like that, Anna. You're the one scaring us. I'm sorry about that. This is my father. Hope he didn't scare you too much. Scare, care, scare. <laughs> it's all okay. Well, Mama, who is this fellow anyway? He's so just passing through town. It's nice to meet you, sir. He's passing through town, eh? Better hurry up and get out of town before you have any funny ideas marrying my daughter. You know what, I'm gonna move the these uh, tickers up here. As long as there's a breath in my lungs, I don't let anyone marry my little girl. Right? Kinda got at that. Father, we be quiet. Mom, it's only the, it's only, it's not a concern that I... But you're embarrassing me. Listen, I'm really sorry about all this. No, don't worry about it. I don't even know your name. I'm Mana. This father, Douglas, and more. Well, I don't know how to say this, really, but I'm not sure who I am. Nothing, but I could feel something was driving me to this town. Really? Well, I'm glad you ended up here. I guess you don't have any plans so to go anywhere else, do you? Hold on, it's really hot. I'm gonna turn my fan more. <coughs> Father, do you think we're gonna land on that farmland? using right now, anyway. There's the farmland just inside town. Would you like to use it? What? But we only just met, and I can't possibly impose. Well, you won't be. It's just gonna be a waste right now, really. If 
be better if someone was living there. Well, let me think about it. Jeez, that is so bearing. Should use a farm. Farm and I run the general store. You move to town, buy things. You'll be helping us too. Really? You insist? Sure. I'll use the farm. Great. Let me show you the way. First, we will need some. Thanks. All right. Let's go to the farm. It's just these. Got. Be a farm chain. This place is huge. That actually hasn't been used in a while. So it takes a little work. Think I could handle it? Don't worry. Sounds good here. Take this hoe and water can. Good, try them out. But tomorrow folks, I'll be starting uh well, Room Factory 3 normal. <laughs> the normal game. I'll just tell you to try them out. What are you waiting for? Be a man. But we're just only 16 years old in Root Factory. We're not even the age of 20 something. So well, you're born to do this. There's a natural farmer somewhere inside you, kid. Well, I don't know about that. We can get you both together for a hundred gold. It's a special sale price. Take it or leave it. That's a scam. What? A hundred for both? That's cheap. Too cheap, kiddo. This is like Mr. Beast giving you a car, but then you have to pay the sales tax of the car. Well, why not? We're just being generous. <coughs> yep, then we'd be tricked into working here. Misty Pharma, nice. Alright, looks like you're all set. Work, start making money. See you later. Come by our shop if you have any questions, or if you want to buy something. Okay, we'll do. Thanks, good luck. Speaking of which, I could cheat. Well, I could transfer my money so I could get all the expensive items. Why are you have seen around here? I'm chained. Actually, Yui has half the items you need to befriend people, so... Sorry I'm late, sir. I've been waiting for you. I'm starving. I want to eat a chicken omelette on rice, orcish style, and make it a large serving. Hey, Alvarado fried rice with, uh... Orcus fried rice with Alvarna escargot. I'll have some elfish style escargot, slightly on the tough side, and I'd like some orange tea before the meal. I'll have whatever is easy for you to make, Cecilia. I'll get started right away. Nope, oh, there's the wife with the mom. Rich people are such a pain. Alicia, they'll hear you. I don't care if they do. You must be quite the cook to handle all that at once. Sim, sim, salabim. I've gotten used to it, that's all. 
Did you need something today, Alicia? I have a door-to-door -door fortune telling service. Rosalind is one of my best customers, and I go where the money is. It's good to marry the fortune teller because he can make it rain all day. <coughs> yep, she tells you about Raguna from the first room factory. Andre brought Cecilia here. And whatever happened to Nicholas, her best friend? In your fortune. So, so you're not from around this town, are you? Of course not from this town. I've never even seen you before. Right now you're thinking, of course I'm not from this town, after all. Never never ever seen or met before. What? No, I was thinking that. Don't lie, my runes are always right. And if they are, off a bit sometimes. Who's to say can't help make them happen? It's not exactly hard to tell if you make your fortunes come true. Right now you're thinking it's not really fortune telling if you help me make your if you help make your fortunes come true. It's not called a fortune telling if it's made come true, it's more of a coincidence. <laughs> Rick, good at love reading some fortune weather, it's nice to meet you. Usually I'm down by the pier reading fortunes, if you're interested stop on by. Okay. Hi, I'm Max. Nice to meet you. <coughs> My name's Shane. My name's Max. I'm second in charge of the Descent Coquille family. Okay. By the way, what's your name? I just told you, but my name is Shane. That's not a name I can. That's the name I can remember. My name's Max. Don't forget now. Here, I'll tell you again. Don't forget, I'm Max. Max de Saint Coquille. One more time, don't forget. Max de Saint Coquille. Yes, I got it, Max. What are you so mad about? I'm not mad at all, sorry, but I gotta go. My name's Herman de Saint Coquille. Nice to meet you, sir. My name's Chain. Ah, you're the one who's new in town, right? This is a little off the blue, but do you like cooking? Hold on. No, I'm missing out on the best part of life. Good life starts with good food. Remember that. Please, start learning more about cooking tomorrow. Find it tasty? Please don't try it, I'll be waiting. Then Roslyn, the rich coquille girl. My name is Roslyn, the sick coquille. I am Chain. Nice to meet you. Chain, my brother and father might cause you a bit of headache, but please be nice to them. This is kind of like the opposite of Room Factory 3's. Instead of the the brother and the dad, it's the daughter and the dad. <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. Don't get me wrong, they're good people, but a bit misunderstood. Please try to be patient with them. Bad mind. See what well, is it, human? Do you need something? What is it, human? Do you need something? Everyone like I don't know who likes Jake in this game. Folks, comment down below. Do you like Jake? If you do, 
hit that subscribe button because I heard that that button glows if I say subscribe. I don't know if it does right now. It works on some videos. I don't know if it works on live streams. Jake. I'm sorry, sir. Welcome to my inn. Sir, he's just a human. You don't need to fawn over him. Jake, you're being rude. Apologize to the man. Uh. Jake can be a handful. Well, I'm going over to the manor. Uh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> Have a good day, Cece. Pleased to meet you. You're a traveler, I assume. My name's Egan. How do you know I was a traveler? Oh well, I smell the wind of different land on you. It's a sylphs whispering to me. Sylphs? Spirits of the wind. They cannot be seen by humans. You're not a human? That's right, I'm an elf. Oh really? Deep. This is a nice town. The spirits of the land are strong. I see. Well, hope you can enjoy your time here. Jane, it was very nice to meet you. Here's a theory. Are the Sylphs actually the Roonies of Room Factory? Of course there is. How do you know for sure? <coughs> Come on now, Barrett. Don't you think that other people have the right to believe in a higher power even if you don't? Alright, let's say someone's been attacked and they're too weak to defend themselves. Is your god gonna step in and save them? If you're as tough as you act, Barrett, why don't you just save them yourself? <laughs> Whatever. You're just avoiding my questions. <laughs> that voice acting. Oh, there's Dorothy. Barrett? What? Well, is it uh, nice today? <coughs> Why don't you go outside and see for yourself? Right. Uh, goodbye. Whoa. Hold on, why are you running away? I'm not that scary, am I? I have really talked to boys before. It's okay, I understand. My name is Shane. What's your name? My name is... It's Goodbye. That's quite a neat name, seriously though. Just relax, just say your name. Okay, my name's Dorothy. Nice to meet you, Dorothy. Yes, nice to meet you too. Goodbye. Man, she's one shy girl. <coughs> her name's Gordon. I just got a scar of my right eye finding a dragon in my youth. So, you are a warrior? Warrior? Look at how I'm dressed. I'm obviously a priest. Ha 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 ha. Thou shalt not kill. I'm strictly a pacifist mode now. See, so what happened to the dragon? I gave him a swift low kick, followed by a one-two combination, left to the solar plexus, right up cut, sent him all the way back to forest beginnings. Doesn't sound like a pacifist at all. I don't think I've seen him around before. Do you just move here? Yes, my name's Chain, and I'm barring the farmland just outside of town. Oh, New Douglas Place. You know Douglas? Of course I do. As far as I know, I can remember. We've been rivals. Everyone in town is always trying to guess which one of us is stronger. Truth be told, it only lasts about three seconds against me if I really tried. Don't say. That's yeah, right. Anyway, remember to come to the church on holidays, chain. I'll warn you now, if you fall asleep burning on my Shermans, I'll send you to heavens early. Barrett? Where are you going? What do you <coughs> care? It's none of your business. 
Don't you dare speak to your father like that. Don't you dare speak to your father like that. Shut up. Just leave me alone. I'm the mayor, Barrett. He could I'm exile sorry. you out of town anytime. Did you need something? <coughs> to our humble abode. Hey, this town. Hope you enjoy your enjoy living with us. Thank you. Hope I could be friends with everyone living here. This town may be small, but it's a peaceful, vibrant place. We'll grow, grow to like living here. I'm sure I will. Actually, I have a son around your age. I hope you two can become friends. That'd be nice. <sighs> you know what? I'm not gonna read. Waifu. Wouldn't it be better if someone just explained it to you before you fell? I'd rather have it that way. Explain it to you before you fell. So, careful, you might trip, and it really hurts, and you actually trip. You'd be better off if you'd experience a little hardship yourself, young lady. Quit fooling around with that fortune-telling nonsense and get a real job. <laughs> My fortune-telling is not nonsense. Well, whatever it is, I <coughs> don't accept it. Sister, mother, why do you always have to be like this? Mother, can't you accept Alicia for who she is? As a doctor, I cannot accept something that isn't based upon sound science and reason. You're both as stubborn as ever. Alright, so talk to the mom and Ray. Fun fact, Ray was actually a dateable candidate in Moon Factory 2. In the beta, fa beta phase. Stupid mom, get away. right in here and ask for my daughter's hand in marriage, I won't allow it. Father! I'm sorry about him, really. Don't let him get to you. You're welcome here anytime. Sword Roy. Oh, there's Tanya. Isn't it beautiful? Check out that edge. And the hilt is incredible. Yeah, it's, uh, great. Swords are nice and all, Mom. But can you make me some dinner? You know what I want to draw once I study my drawing book? I want to draw Tanya and Gamecha fight. Dinner? A meal feeds your belly for a few hours, but a sword like this can feed your soul for a lifetime. What? I don't even know what that means! Come on. Aren't you glad you have a fun mother like me? I'd rather have a normal mother. <sighs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Roy knows that amnesia is something. Last person to talk to. Try something out. I'm gonna talk to Jake yet. 